when you have too much co-creation. That was a question that I got from uh, Katrina some time ago. And I think the answer, the short answer is definitely. Absolutely, you can have too much co-creation, but um, uh, it's all about how and when you use co-creation. So I think there is uh, a big misconception that in a lot of uh, service design, design thinking uh, projects, co-creation or uh, involving users, uh, employees, customers in the process is always a good thing. The more co-creation, the better. The truth is, co-creation can ruin your project. It can lead to disaster when you involve people at the wrong time in your process uh, and for the wrong reasons. Now, I think the best application of co-creation is where you invite people to... Um, where you use co-creation as a research tool. So let me give you an example. For instance, you're redesigning a hospital. Well, it would be smart to uh, involve staff and patients in the design process, but not to let them pick out a new floor plan or let them decide which floor plan is the best. Like, um, you would use Lego to design some floor plans and then you would say, well, which one works the best? And then we're going to use that. That's terrible. That's that's uh, a recipe for disaster. What you need to do instead is use Lego, for instance, use drawings, involve staff and patients to uh, imagine their ideal hospital experience. And then you, as an expert, as a designer, should be able to digest um, insights out of that, patterns. So what are the underlying things people are saying? What are the needs and desires that they are expressing? And then you take those needs and desires and um, invo yeah, make them into a good plan, make them into uh, uh, a good plan floor plan because that's your job or it's the job of an architect maybe to actually uh, use those insights and uh, translate them in a floor plan but don't ask customers users employees in your co-creation process to come up with answers don't ask for opinions that's again a recipe for disaster use co-creation um, for research also in prototyping, uh, co-creation is great. In prototyping, of course, you're going to prototype with the people who will be using your service. Um, but don't ask them to uh, say if this is right or wrong. Ask them, um, what do you like about this? How, how does it make you feel? Stuff like that. And then take the insights out of that. Look for patterns. Uh, so... Getting back to the question of Katrina, can you have too much co-creation? You can have too much on, of any, anything if you use it the wrong way. Um, and I'm a big fan of co-creation if used correctly. I've seen co-creation gone bad and ruin complete projects. So be careful. It's a powerful tool, but know how to use it. What's your take on co-creation? When should you use it? When shouldn't you use it? What are the limits? What are some of the best practices? Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.